Welcome to this Skillpad video resource where we make learning fun. Today, we are going to look at another natural phenomenon known as mass wasting, which is a significant area of study in the field of geography and earth sciences. Have you ever come across slopes that seem to be melting or moving downhill into valleys, or wondered why some hillsides appear to be creeping? Well, the answer lies in this geological phenomenon known as mass wasting. It is one of the fascinating natural phenomena that have intrigued scientists over the years. Mass wasting, also known as slope movement or mass movement, is the downslope movement of rock, regolith, and soil under the direct influence of gravity. Think of it as the Earth's way of reshaping itself, a constant push and pull between construction and destruction. Unraveling the mystery of mass wasting requires understanding its types and processes, and like a flowing river carving its path, mass wasting exhibits a range of speeds and intensities. On one end of the spectrum, you have slow mass movements. This includes phenomena like soil creep and solifluxion. Soil creep is a gradual downhill movement of soil and rock fragments induced by gravity. Picture a slow motion landslide with the earth inching downwards bit by bit over years, even centuries. Soil creep is subtle, often detected by the peculiar tilting of trees or posts over time. Solifluxion, on the other hand, is a type of soil flow common in permafrost regions. When the surface layer of soil thaws during warmer months, it becomes waterlogged and slides over the still-frozen ground beneath, resulting in a slow, viscous flow. On the flip side, we have rapid mass movements. These are dramatic, fast-paced, and often destructive. They include rock falls, rock slides, debris slides, avalanches, and mud flows. Rock falls often occur when rocks detach from a steep slope or cliff, tumbling and bouncing downslope. Rock slides, meanwhile, involve a mass of rock sliding rapidly downslope along a plane of weakness, often with devastating effects. What causes these movements? The primary cause of this phenomenon is gravity, but other factors like water saturation, seismic activity, human activity, and the steepness of slopes contribute too. East Africa, with its diverse topography and climate, is a hotbed for mass wasting. The Ruenzori, Elgon Mountains and the Aberdare Ranges, for instance, are susceptible to soil creep due to their steep slopes and heavy rainfall. Meanwhile, the semi-arid regions of northern Kenya experience solifluxion due to the freeze-thaw cycles characteristic of their climate. Mass wasting, while a natural process, carries significant implications for both the physical and human environment. Physically, it shapes our landscapes contributing to the formation of valleys, cliffs and other landforms. However, it can also lead to loss of vegetation, soil erosion and alteration of habitats. For humans, the effects of mass wasting can be disastrous. Landslides and rock slides can destroy homes, infrastructure and take lives. Soil creep and solifluxion, though slower, can cause considerable damage over time, affecting agriculture and leading to subsidence of buildings. In conclusion, mass wasting is an indispensable part of our planet's dynamic nature. It's a reminder of the Earth's continuous evolution, a testament to the power of gravity, and an indicator of the intricate link between the physical world and human society. As we continue to inhabit and interact with this ever-changing planet, understanding phenomena like mass wasting becomes not just a matter of academic interest, but a necessity for our survival and sustainable cohabitation. Thank you for using this Skillpad video resource, we hope it was captivating. Go ahead and check out more of our video resources on this platform, we hope to see you again soon.